This tutorial will show you how to quickly create an ad hoc analysis. We will start by using the Sales Profit Cube. In Navigator, move the cursor to the Sales Profit Template icon. Then click that icon. Navigator will ask you to name the new analysis file. Pick a file name, or just use the default. Doing so will bring up the selection panel of Data Explorer. Notice that we have six dimension tabs for the Sales Profit Cube. But none of the tab titles is in bold, since we have not selected any particular members of any of the dimensions. If you click on the Views icon in the Views panel, then the Selection panel will be replaced by the Views panel. In this mode, the default view is a grid or data table. Since no dimension members were selected, only one cell shows up. It represents the value for the default members of each of the dimensions. In this case, the defaults are sales amount, from the measures dimension, all classes, all customers, all items, and all time. However, for this example, we want to select members from the various dimensions. To do so, we need to return to the selection mode and the selection panel. Click on the selection icon in the views panel. First, let's select which measures we want. Clicking on the measures tab will show all the available members from the measures dimension. For the sales profit cube, there are more than 50 possible measures to choose. Notice that amount is in bold. This indicates that the measure, sales dollar amount, is the default member of the measures dimension. We, however, would like to see more measures in our analysis. To do so we can select additional measures by either double clicking on the measures name in the left panel, or by dragging the measure from the left panel to the right panel. Let's select quantity by double clicking. Then amount, also. Then control click select, gross margin. Items selling, weeks selling and customers buying. And drag them to the right panel. Now let's select customers from the customer dimension. First, notice that there is a folder named all customer, with the plus sign to the left of the folder icon. This folder identifies all customer as an aggregate, or total for all its children. The plus sign represents that all customer has child members, and that you can drill down to see them. Clicking the plus sign will show all the children. We can choose any, or all of the members by selecting them, and moving them to the right panel. A shortcut is to right click on one of the children. This brings up a context menu. This provides a shortcut to selecting all of the members or the sibling members. Click select all. Then drag them all to the right panel. Since we have selected members from both the customer dimension and the measures dimension, each of those tabs is now bold. Now, let's click on the view icon to view the results of our selections in the views mode. Notice that the measures dimension and the customer dimension are listed in the area above the data table. This is called the slicer panel. Dimensions selected, but not yet added to the data table are placed in the slicer panel. They provide a filtering, or a context for the data in the view. The number in the cell, then, is the value of the measure, quantity, for all customers, and is 8,488.85. To expand the table, to include the selected dimension members, as a row, or as a column, we just need to drag the dimension from the slicer panel to the appropriate area on the data table. First, let's drag the measures to the columns area of the data table. And then drag the customer dimension onto the data table as the rows. This gives us a basic data table view with selected measures as columns and the customers as rows with the total for all customers as the top row. If we wanted to see the customer dimension listed in descending order, based upon sales dollars amount, we can use the sort shortcut. Just right click on the amount column heading. Then click on sort descending. And now we see the list of customers in rank sequence. Let's change the name of the view from view 1.
to cost sort. First, right click on the view icon. Then click on rename. Type in the new name. Click OK. Now that we have renamed the view, let's set up this view to be the initial, default view when this analysis is used again. Right click on the view icon. Click set startup view. Now the name cost sort is underlined and bold, indicating that it is the default, or startup view. Many views can't be saved in an analysis. Clicking the new view icon in the toolbar, creates a new view, identical to the current view. The new view becomes the current view. Let's sort this view by the measure, item selling, and name the new view, item sort. Now let's save this analysis, by clicking on the save icon in the toolbar. Close Data Explorer, and then conclude the demo. This concludes the quick start, ad hoc analysis tutorial. Thank you for viewing. More tutorials can't be found at www.dataexplorersuite.com.